Okay, just want to show you a little um, automation tip I stumbled across right now. I was doing some automation with the mixer. I don't know if you guys do any of that. Most likely you do. But uh, I have to come in with this sample solo, you know? And then the kick should come in here shortly. And uh, I'll show you what I'm getting to once you see what I'm doing. Okay, the kick came in. Whatever, basic automation. But the thing is, is I was thinking, man, now I got to go through all these clips where all the MIDI MIDI notes are and adjust the, um, the point where the solo is coming on or the mute or it's turning off or whatever. And I wish, like in Reason, that they had another track where all the automation was popped up. And uh, I went over to the uh, sequencer and I was like, ah, oh, whatever. I'll go into each little... Um, MIDI, uh, whatever you want to call it here, you know, and then I'll go and mess with the track mute, and there it is, but it's, it's embedded in, let me see here, all the MIDI information, all down the line, you know, it's in that but what I noticed is on the tracks that I had a spare track and I had armed that empty track, it put the um, automation information in that track by itself. So now I don't have to go through all these, these uh, long MIDI clips. The, the purple track, which I happen to have an extra track for my kick, I didn't even make a second kick. I left, I happened to leave it there though, right before I was in record, I was like, should I get rid of all these tracks? And I was like, nah, I'll just leave them there, you might, I might need a kick or something, or I might need to flip the sample. So I left them there, did the automation, turns out not only left them there, I left them armed to record, and ended up making a sweet second automation track with all my automation points, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, now they're, I mean, I could find them, I could just, they're right there, boom, 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 you see those blue ones? Now on this green track here, where again, on this blue track, you see, that's where the MIDI information is in there. You see? You can't see it, I don't know why. Until I go to track solo. But you get what I'm saying? It's, they're easy, you can see them all now. All those little cuts are automation. And all I have to do, really, is delete it if I want, you know? I don't have to actually go into the clip, into um, track solo, track mute or whatever, track pan, and then back out into the MIDI editor, blah, blah, blah. It's just in the clip right there. And if I do choose to go into it, then I can go through all the, the motions. Go into here, click in here, whatever you see, track mute. Mute's right there. I like it's selected or whatever. And adjust it wherever I want to go or whatever. If I wanted to mute a little sooner or a little later or whatever. But I just thought that was really cool how you could probably do this with all the effects and everything. Any automation. So say I want to do automation on this, this bass track down here on the bottom. I'm thinking what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Instead of recording the automation and then having all the automation in those clips there, I'm going to first duplicate the track. Then I'm going to erase all the clips there. Then I'm going to unarm the main bass track and arm the spare track I just made. I'm going to flip over here. Go to my uh, bass track, which is right there and put a mute point in there once I record and then what you'll see here on the sequencer is that my bass track now has a clip with that um, track solo in it. So if I don't want the track solo, again, instead of having it actually go into the clip above it, 
I could now just, you know, click on that and delete that. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. Hopefully the video wasn't too shaky. And uh, that's a cool way just to make like a separate spare track for a track you have to hold all your um, automation information or maybe for an effects bus or an effect you got going.